Welcome to the Moonlight Magic Channel. This is the 2018 reading for Leo. And this is Satrina. I will be giving you a general reading for this year. So let's get started. In January, Leo, you will be feeling like you're not trusting yourself. You will be feeling like, oh, can I do this or not? You might be trying to do something, but then you, you're kind of self-doubting yourself. Okay, so that's January. You have the strength card reversed. February, you have the sun reversed, which denotes you might be feeling burnt out in February. Okay, let's move on to March. March, you have the King of Cups that denotes the encouragement. You might be encouraging people in March. It's really March is going to be a good month for you. You're going to be spending time with family and you're going to have time because sometimes when we spend time with our family or, you know, we do things that we want to do, we feel rushed. Well, March is going to be a good month for you. You're going to feel like you have enough time to do everything you need to do especially what's really important to you spending time with your family or your friends if you don't have family we all know friends can be form a form of family okay so moving on to april april it looks like you might be a little self-indulgent i'll zoom in on that card this is the three of cups reversed so you might be feeling a little self-indulgent in April. So just watch out for that. Watch out, you know, keep track of how much am I spending? Can I really afford this? Because we all know Leos can go all out. Okay. So make sure that you keep an eye on that, on being too self-indulgent. Okay. Let's move on to, that was April. Let's move on to May. May, you will have achievement in May. May, you will have success. See the woman, she's climbing up the mountain. She is climbing, the sun is up. You see the sun up there behind the mountain. May is all about success for you. May is gonna be a good month for you, Leo. We move on to June. June, you're going to feel like you have a lot going on, pretty much. You, you, you will have a lot going on. You're going to feel like you're carrying so many burdens. She, look at this lady. She's coming in from work, and she is carrying groceries. She's trying. She has her cell phone in her hand, trying to get the keys in the door. She looks tired, doesn't she? This is going to be you, Leo, in May. Take in mind, this is a general reading. This won't apply to all Leos because we're not all born on the same day at the same time in the same place. Okay, so if you want a reading, visit metaphysicalmoonlighters.com and I will do a reading that is specific to you. I do astrological birth chart readings and I also do tarot readings. Okay, so that is June. Let's move on to July. July, you have the Princess of Swords, and that represents experimenting with ideas. So you will be experimenting with ideas in July. You're going to maybe put something out there and just, you know, just to see what, what happens. So that is in July. Let's move on to August. August, you have the Fool re reversed. This could denote making bad decisions. Okay, so be careful about what you're choosing to do in August. Think everything through in August. Moving on to September. September, you're going to be the drama queen or king in September. So try not to isolate yourself from anyone and try not to create any drama in September. Moving on to October, it looks like you might be dissatisfied. Well, let's see. It looks like you might be trying to buy affections or you might be too materialistic. 
in October. Okay, so watch out. Where are you spending money? Why are you spending money? Ask yourself that. When you're spending money, let's say you're taking someone out on a date and, you know, you plan to spend a certain amount of money. Don't go over that. Don't go over your budget in October. Okay, moving on to November. November will bring dissatisfied actions for you. You might have anxiety over financing and it might be something related to whatever you did in October. Because in October, October, it looks like you will be trying to buy affections or you're going to be too materialistic in October and you're going to feel it in November. So November, you will be dissatisfied with your actions and you might have anxiety over finances. But you finish the year strong in December. December shows you sharing your resources, uh, patronizing, um, showing your patronage. Patri um, priorita prioritizing your money basically so even though you slipped a little you will slip a little bit in October and November December you're going to finish the year out good so this is your general reading Leo again if you would like a reading with me this is Citrina visit my website at metaphysicalmoonlighters.com I'd be happy to give you a reading. Also, if you would like coaching on reading the tarot cards, visit my website as well. I'd be happy to coach you and do some training sessions on reading the tarot. Again, Leo, this has been your 2018 reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, have a great year, Leo.